Hi, in this video I will show you how to run an, uh, a database, a database, uh, a SQLite database on my Raspberry Pi. And uh, for this I, we will open, we do some work in Visual Studio and we run the code which I've seen here in development, uh, developer soapbox. There's a pretty cute uh, example. So now what we do is we open uh, stop that we don't need our board as our screen so there it is now what we do is we start with visual code and in visual code we connect our Raspberry Pi. So what we do is we open SSH configuration or when we have it already then we say uh, connect to host Raspberry Pi local. That's uh, when you have installed the Visual Studio and, your, uh, and the system then you're there. Okay, we don't need it. Wait. So we go to Raspberry Pi. Now we are there. And inside Raspberry Pi, we say now we are on our board. We say here our password. I won't show you. So enter the password in there system is connecting and what we see now on the left side here uh, these are our, our folders we are we connected yeah we, we are connected what we do now we open a terminal in our visual code now we are connected that's what you see if you open if you say dir for example then you see all your files now we go where do we go we go to our project here to our project we just deleted uh, the previous one so we go in that project we say connect uh, host in that current window so we are in this window now the new this new folder is uh, connected and we open a terminal again and then we follow that simple sample because this is really great and uh, I've al already installed the uh, Entity Framework. All what you have to do, install Entity Framework and then we do the following. We go there, we, I show you on the screen itself and you will see that it's a running a database quite easy. So we say make directory SQLite app, that's what I deleted before. Then you say change directory uh, SQLite app and we say .NET new console which creates this um, that the folder and the .NET application itself. Now the console app uh, here, the template of console app is uh, created. What we do now, we open Visual Studio code in that point. So we say code dot. Now this one should open the correct window. We enter our password again. So this is in that case, I simply for my demo application, I said uh, add a small password. We don't need the other stuff anymore. So we are here now. You see this by the SQLite application. Let's handle it like this. And it's pretty good that when you follow the example from developer uh, soap box, because now what they he instructed us uh, very easy. You say open the project file. That's the and you see in, inside there that's uh, Microsoft.NET SDK. 
running on Raspberry Pi. And now all you have to do is you implement the these lines, you're saving it. So this means we uh, say the system is including Microsoft Entity Framework, which is a database connector. And we save it. We close that file, we don't need it anymore. And then you say uh, .NET Restore, which is uh, finally binding all that stuff. So we say in here, we open the terminal again. So inside there, we are now in our SQLite uh, app. We say um, dot, dot .NET Restore, which binds that stuff. I don't know why anybody said Restore will fetch your newly added NuGet dependencies. So this is uh, depends. It takes the NuGet packages from there. A bad word as I, I can't understand why it's called uh, why it's called .NET um, Restore. So and now we do the following. We open the project file at uh, program file. We don't need this anymore. The program file, which is uh, the, the software, when it starts the application, it runs into program.cs and then it runs the code. So we don't need this code and we take the code from there, which is, and I will explain it. I will explain how this code works. Pretty easy. So now we see the code there. And the code is quite simple. It says, okay, use the syst use Microsoft system uh, .NET Core system, yeah, and then use the SQLite database. And then it says the program, that's where it's starting, namespaces around, all that stuff around. Uh, and then it says main, it always starts in program main, that's always the, uh, main, the, the main entry point. And then it says connection string, Connection string builder, make a make a string builder and say create uh, a SQLite database dot db and then it says using connection new SQLite connection. SQLite connection is depends in here, SQLite. And then you say make me that string which we had there. So simply drop that string in there. And then say open that database. And if it's not there, then it will the file will be created. That's a simple file. And then we say, then the, the software says, uh, create a, a command, uh, a SQL command, which is a transact uh, transact command. It's quite easy to say. Drop table if exists favorite beers. So this is uh, create a table which is called like this, or um, first drop it and then create it. And then always create a command. This is the text inside. Uh, delete that. Uh, execute that f uh, that command on that database on that with this SQL core uh, SQLite connection, like a SQL server. Then you say uh, create a table, and then something with transactions that's not necessary, but you, it simply says create a command. Insert uh, that stuff, execute, insert, execute, insert, ins in insert into values uh, a name, for first value, for example. First, first value, for example. And then whenever you have done that stuff, commit. It's not, ne not always necessary to, to have the transaction command. And then you say, when you have done that, then you uh, create a connection, select all that, all the name fields. Um, where, where is it? Uh, select the name from favorite beer. So the, we created that table there and we created a name field with varchar 50. So create a table called favorite beers name and with the field varchar something. And then we say select the field name from that table, execute a reader, read when, whatever you see there and uh, finally show it, get the string and right line the string. So, and now what we do, we save that stuff.
say control s for saving and then we say dotnet run which packs all that stuff and uh and finally it it packs that stuff it inserts it creates a database commits that stuff in there and then it runs through that lines and writes it into our console so we say dotnet dotnet run that's the command in here and this command simply says you see it runs pretty fast da, 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 da. needs a while because it's on Raspberry Pi so that's it you see that's my first values now this comes from the database I insert it in, into a database and I read it by a database and now this means uh, I show you again Open my screen so you see it on the screen now that's what you see there uh, we have our now can I increase it okay it doesn't matter oh. that's what you see we have now run our on our uh, notebook uh, on on our pc that's our pc pc that's somewhere there we have installed our uh, code there visual visual studio and we moved the code on our raspberry pi and ran it there uh, and the nice thing nice thing by this uh, is that it's a let's say it's a database on a it's a running database it's quite easy to run a database on a raspberry pi so with this stuff with this easy code we are we know now a database is quite easy on that and it's quite easy to insert values and show that values on uh, on a raspberry pi program let's say in blazor or something like this and even there there are some sometimes uh, other well uh, other commands uh, an entity framework normally you work with uh, tables but for simple examples it's not ne it's not necessary simply write something in there and read it and show it in the in s values because a, a raspberry pi has to be fast and uh, yeah okay it's it might be good for for some things if you have you if you empower uh, entity framework with its uh, command first first value and then so on but for this one it was very helpful to do that uh, and now you see you will see it, it on the video and take the code from this uh, sandbox example